if Baker or Mike leaves, there's the other leave too. It's going to be fascinating to see what happens, Matt, if yeah. which domino is going to fall first. I, I believe Mike Evans is going to resign first. I really? think he's going okay. to. Yeah. The reason why I say that is because this is such a wide receiver rich draft and he's 30. He'll be 31 before he plays a down next year in a uniform, whether it's Tampa Bay's or elsewhere. And I just think that there's also some pretty darn good free agent wide receivers in this class. So as great of, of a player as Mike is, does a team want to gamble 25, 26, 28 million, whatever the price tag ends up being, do they want to do that on a player who could be this year or next having that drop off, fall off season where injuries hit yeah. and, and, and maybe you lose a step hasn't happened yet. And I'm not going to, I'm not about to put an expiration date on Mike Evans career. Uh, no way. That's not going to be coming from me. I'm going to bet it for that guy and on that guy uh, un until I'm proven wrong. I've just seen his greatness firsthand every minute of his career here in Tampa. But other teams, they'll have to weigh that. Do we want to draft a, a you know, a Rum a, a Dunze or a Malik Neighbors in the first round, right? Where we have a young guy, maybe the next Mike Evans, where we'll have him for a lot longer and he's yeah. on a rookie deal. He won't cost us $26, 28000000 million. So it will be interesting to see. And I think it's going to come down to, would offer the Houston Texans put out for Mike if they yep. do and, and what the Buccaneers offer and then how many other interested teams there are. I think Baker Mayfield is going to have more suitors and will probably wait until the, the price goes all the way up, whatever that price tag ends up being. And, and I think once he sees Mike resign, he's going to be more inclined to resign in Tampa. But if I had a, a guess, if I had to place a bet, I would say Evans is going to sign before Baker Mayfield. And that's very intriguing because I actually see it as I think Baker Mayfield is going to be the one that signs first. Now, I think you're absolutely correct that Baker has more suitors than Mike Evans at the moment. But when you look at the teams that need a quarterback, and I'm excluding the teams that are going to draft a quarterback early, yes, right. the bidding is going to get higher. But I almost look at it as like Shark Tank. For example, like Baker Mayfield comes in and says, hi, I'm Baker Mayfield. Right. This is what I did with the Bucks last season. And that bidding will go high up to a certain point. And then teams will be like, oh, that's too much money. Yeah, um, now out. we're going to settle with Gardner Minshew, whatever type of quarterback, where teams go, I don't want to pay that much for Baker Mayfield. And if other teams start signing a quarterback, drafting a quarterback, whatever, it whittles down who is actually available for Baker Mayfield. So I think Baker isn't necessarily going to jump at the first offer that he gets. But if he finds the first offer that he likes and it's a good, advantageous situation for him, I could see him taking that deal with hopefully the Bucs or Atlanta or Washington or whoever it may be just to, you know, have that security and peace of mind that we kind of talked about with Baker that he can kind of get ready for the next chapter of his career, which again, hopefully is in Tampa Bay. Now with Mike, I totally hear you. Um, about teams drafting wide receivers and, and things of that nature and getting them for younger. But I also think there is a, a benefit to having a guy like Mike Evans that is fully established. It's almost like we were just talking about with a team that builds out their whole offense and then they just need a quarterback. I think there's certain teams right now that look at their team and say, wow, we got a great offense, but we just need that true blue number one wide receiver and yes you can draft certain wide receivers but as we know in the draft i'm not going to call it a crap shoot yeah. but like sometimes you never know like there was that year what the vikings got justin jefferson and i forgot who the eagles drafted um but like that guy was a complete bust and justin jefferson went on to be the best wide receiver right in the nfl you don't want to find yourself on the latter half of that situation so if you're a team like the texans that already recently drafted two rookie wide receivers are you going to draft another one or are you going to go for the big hit with mike evans or a team like the chiefs who've won back-to-back -back super bowls yeah they're they're not a wide receiver away they've been doing it and they've proved it but if they say we really want to improve our offense this year if they had the money i think they would be more inclined to go after mike evans than to draft one so i just see baker signing because um the options i think eventually will slow down 
where Mike, there's going to be a team that says, we need you on our team if we want to reach the Super Bowl. Yeah, I, I, I agree. And uh, we, it's going to be a very fascinating free yeah. agency season for the Buccaneers. And and uh, we're going to have a lot of questions for Todd Bowles and for Jason Light 